welcome back to a, a rather clean Skoda. It wasn't a little while ago yet. I've just done a quick maintenance wash on it. Didn't want to go through all the palaver of doing the wash and showing it all, because you've seen it all before. So this video, what's it all about? Well, quite a while ago, I was sent um, by a subscriber, in fact, some samples, um, some wax samples. Um, there was some interior stuff and they're all in my cupboard somewhere. I can't remember exactly what he sent me because I get sent quite a bit of stuff, but this is all sent to me by me and my details. That's his Instagram tag, Michael. Michael is a loyal subscriber. Uh, we sometimes chat online via Instagram, via YouTube. He sometimes has different views to what I have, but altogether we sort of come to meet in the middle and finally agree on certain aspects of detailing. Well, he actually sent me some wax samples now right the wax samples well one of them he sent me was one you probably recognize this is um valet pros beading marvelous valet pro been around for a long long time uh never actually used this one seen some rave reviews about it though so that's one of the samples he sent uh, the next one i have used this is infinity wax this is their light wax. I actually used this when I had the Ford Focus, a silver Focus. If anyone's been following me, yeah, again, on Instagram, you'd have seen the Ford Focus some time ago. And I did use this. This is pretty impressive stuff. The next one, right. The, the word I'm gonna say means something completely different in, in England. Or if you're British, for example, you'll, you'll come across this word and you'll think, that's different, and it is different for a good reason. Um, this company are called Carspunk. Now, don't all jump on your keyboards and start commenting. I've spoken to Carspunk because they were very good getting back to me, and I, you know, asked about the name and everything, and, and this is what they said. I'll just get the iPad for you. So this is actually what they said. I, I sent them a message um, on Instagram, and they came back and said it basically means, Carspunk means, Courage or determination in English, uh, yet more used by American Australian people in that way. So that's what it means in in their terms. Like if you've probably seen it on sitcoms in America, where's, uh, where's your spunk? You know, you know, the guy that's got a lot of spunk. In English, it means, or in this country, I know in English it means that, but in this country it means something completely different to do with your nether regions, um, i.e. reproductive fluid. The less said about that, better. I'm not going to make a mockery of this video. Yes, it's funny, I know. And you're going to comment like crazy on it, but it's a way of getting noticed, I must admit. So, um, been looking at Car Spunk's website, and uh, it's not just about car wax. There's loads of products on there. Also, different product lines. Uh, there's clothing. So, I suggest you go and have a look at it. But for right now, we're going to test this wax. But just before we do, before you hit your keyboards and go, wow, that car's shine anyway. I'll introduce the first product I'm going to test, which I haven't actually mentioned yet, and this is this. This is the Detailer's Passion Blackout. Uh, so this is the panel prep. So this is commonly known as IPA in the industry. Yes, it's a small bottle. That's the first thing you guys are going to say, but it's not actually aimed at the mainstream detail. It's more aimed at the hobbyist and the sort of the, like the boutique market to get guys introduced into to using IPAs. Uh, anyone doesn't know a lot about IPA, I suggest you Google it. Rather a long word, not IPA, but the actual longer uh, description is quite long. I'm not going to spell it because I'm used to spelling, but it's used as basically stripping off any wax oil or any anything you've left on your car like if you're doing a polish with a uh, oil based polish and you're doing machine polishing you would do a machine polish um, set and you would wipe it down using an IPA solution to remove any residue any oils left in the paint that's the basic guide of what it actually is and I didn't want to put wax straight on top of this because this is still carrying the detailers passion wax although it is starting to degrade on the rear because the rear of the car on most people's cars, as I said before in previous videos, is always the worst bit. And this bit's suffering a little bit. It's still got bits of protection on the side of the car. The wax has been on there for a number of months now, but it's starting to let go on the rear. And also we've got a few little tar spots I want to get rid of. So I'm going to be using this before we actually use the car spunk wax. Now, going back to the car spunk wax, sorry to hop about on different products. This is the uh, limited edition um, launch bar car fashion wax if you go on the website 
it'll tell you a little bit about the wax. There's not too much about the ingredients. I can't give you, a, you know, I can't give you a percentage of how much Carnuba's in it or what the product is made out, out of. Excuse me. Um, I can tell you it's a very fruity scent. This is, of course, the 30 ml panel pot available via their website. Uh, Seven pound fifty, I believe, unless their prices have changed. So give it a look. So going back to the car, we're going to panel prep this or wipe down the rear, this part of the tailgate, and then we're going to try the wax out. So this is the Details Passion Blackout. This is the IPA. You can either spray it on your clean microfiber or you can actually spray it on the car. So I'm going to gradually work our way along. Hopefully ridding any of the last remaining wax. So it's time to load up the applicator. You can see as it's a panel pot, dinky little things. So you get plenty of wax on there. And just straight lines. I'm gonna work this into the paint. We're going to give this around 10 minutes as it's a fairly warm day. So while we're waiting for this wax to actually go off, um, a little bit more about this brand, this whole branding thing. Um, as most people know, follow me on Instagram, this isn't my profession at all. I'm actually in engineering, um, track engineering, welding. Uh, I won't mention the actual name of the company I work for, but th this isn't exactly what I do. I've been doing YouTube for uh, just over a year now, and um, a little bit of background, uh, background information about YouTube, why I actually started YouTube. I started posting videos on Instagram, short videos, really short. It was when you could do like, a, I think it was a 30 second video. And uh, guys were saying, you know, get your face on camera, give it a go, and it is, pretty nerve-wracking doing this stuff when you, when you first start you know you're talking to your, into a camera your neighbors are around they got used to it now they know what i do you know every week or every other week i'm sticking a video up or we take cameras to meets and stuff like that you know and, and this is this is youtube you know if you want to get into it do get into it on the subject of youtube i'm going to give a massive shout out to someone should have done this last time i did a video and didn't get around to doing it so I want to give you a heads up on this guy. This is a 16 year old who started a YouTube channel fairly recently, JC49 Car Cleaning. Uh, that takes some guts, a 16 year old starting up YouTube. Yeah, there's kids out there doing stuff like uh, skateboarding, BMXing and all the rest of it. And all the action stuff, slapping GoPros on mountain bikes. There's, there's, there's plenty of videos out there, but to actually do this stuff and actually research products and, and sort of Get yourself out there and, and show other people that your interest and your passion. Hats off to Joe. So Joe Cox, give him a follow. I'll put his uh, channel down the bottom of this video and his Instagram page. Give the guy a follow. So hats off to you, Joe. I look forward to talking to you a bit more online. And we'll sort some products out, maybe send some stuff up to you and you can review it. So onwards. This has been uh, curing for a little while now, around about 10 minutes. We're going to buff this off and see what it looks like. So as always, take a clean microfiber of your choice. First impressions, pretty easy to buff off, but then it's not a very hard wax, not soft to touch. And if you can hear my dogs, yes, that's him. Or 
dog, as he's a noisy one. So this is the result of the gloss levels. Now, this car's not perfect. There still is some swirling in here. It needs some correction work. I uh, actually filled some of these swells. So, as most waxes will do that, that's no surprise. So easy to put on. The uh, beading will be pretty obvious because it's a wax. I'm not going to worry about a beading shot today because you've all seen uh, beading shots, but this is the gloss level. So a bit of a note to anybody out there that's waxing. It gets the badges like this. can be a little bit fiddly. Just take your time. So this was Car Spunk. Car Spunk wax, should I say. Comment section. Right, well now we've buffed the um, Car Spunk wax off, the um, limited edition. Uh, what do we think? Well, there's a nice rich gloss. Obviously it's on a red car. It's always gonna be really rewarding as it is on a dark color. You know, you get that nice rich gloss when you get a wax. Waxes and sealants, there is a difference in the, in the sort of gloss factor. You'll come across this if you, with your trialing out products. Some of the sealants will give you a real good longevity. They'll give you a certain amount of gloss, but when it comes down to the actual paste waxes, soft paste waxes, um, liquid waxes, they just give you that extra gloss, you know, that, that real rich, deep gloss. So, you know, there's thousands of waxes on the market. Uh, thanks to me and my details and to Michael uh, for sending me this. Uh, let's see how this goes with the next uh, set of lovely weather we're gonna have. Not, uh, it's blooming cold out here, I should've worn my hat. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Um, so, you know, that, that was the uh, car spunk. So have a look at their site as well. They seem to do a lot of clothes on their site for some unknown reason. They've got a, a lot of different products. So give them a look. I'll put a link under the video as ever. Uh, now, going back to the first product, this was the Detailers Passions. Uh, many of you have seen Detailers Passions. I know a few of you have, have looked into the products because I'm not of you've, many of you have heard of Detailers Passions. Maybe some of you haven't heard of car spunk products. This is what it's all about, getting different products out to you guys, um, stuff that I get sent, I get introduced to, I just sort of pass it on to you guys. Uh, this was the IPA, this is the blackout. Yes, it's in a small bottle, but it's, you get the idea, this is a similar, you know, this is the IPA solution. This is what's gonna strip back that, um, that wax layer or the uh, previous product you had or polishing oils left, the residue left on your paint if you've been machine polishing. If you're using a water-based product, it's a little bit different. You don't actually need this or I haven't used it before with water-based product. I don't think there's any need to. So have a look at this on Details Passion's site. Um, at the end of this video, there is a little symbol. Uh, like she said this before, I thought everyone was just gonna click on it automatically. It's a little symbol with my uh, little um, sign on it. Click on it and you can subscribe to future videos. And also there'll be a video put up in the corner for you to watch. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe as always. And my thanks to me and my details. And don't forget to go and check out Joe Cox's channel, I shall put that underneath the video. So I'll leave some shots of the Skoda with its freshly waxed ass. <laughs> Go check out some car spunk. Catch you later, guys. Bye.